Now, Greenville City Council members have approved a new ordinance on the illegal use of downtown dumpsters. Our Mary Morgan, she's live in studio this morning. She spoke to a concerned resident and city council member about the ordinance and the intention behind it. Good morning, Mary. Good morning, Jason. If you've been to downtown Greenville, you've likely seen overflowing dumpsters with trash on the ground. City Council member Marion Blackburn says though these dumpsters and trash cans are contracted to local businesses, not all of the trash is coming from those organizations. That's why the Greenville City Council has a new ordinance in place to hold people accountable. It's a familiar sight when in downtown Greenville. It looks terrible. A problem Pitt County resident Bev Godwin says needs to be addressed. There needs to be something done about the litter and trash along the highways and roads. There just needs to be more education about how bad it is. Overflowing dumpsters thanks to what Greenville City Council member Marion Blackburn believes to be the illegal use of them. We have several city owned parking lots or lots throughout our city which have commercial dumpsters on them. That's to say these are dumpsters that are used by businesses and that also have private pickup service. The city of Greenville's uh, uh, solid waste collections does not service them. So the issue has been there is a lot of trash around these bins. These bins get too full and they run over. And it's because we suspect that businesses who don't have contracts are using them. Which is why Greenville City Council is taking action by adding a new ordinance to hold people accountable. The ordinance says the city of Greenville will start using its camera system to monitor unauthorized use of garbage bins and includes both civil and criminal penalties. Civil fines begin at $100 for a first violation, an increase to $250 for a second violation, and $500 for three or more violations. Godwin and Blackburn say they look forward to the good the new ordinance will do. I just hope that, you know, we can clean up and look good and be proud. As a city, we're really learning how to have the most attractive, most dynamic, most thriving downtown area possible. And this is part of that process. We're learning how to do it better. Businesses are learning how they need to do it better. And we hope the end result is going to be a downtown that's attractive for everyone to come and visit. WITN previously spoke to businesses in downtown Greenville about the ordinance who say their hope is for the people who are actually paying for the dumpsters to be the only ones to use them. They say when the dumpsters overflow into the ground, it's a public health concern as trash attracts pests and other animals and in general just looks bad. Jason. Alrighty, thanks, Mary. Now, last Thursday at the Greenville City Council meeting, the vote in favor of the ordinance was a unanimous six to zero.